It was a tall as hell. From beginning to end. Sometimes we can spend days trapped in the darkness of our thoughts, becoming prisoners of our own mind. Has this happened to you? This is how I have felt in the last three years. For me, time has stopped, and it is not until this moment that I have been able to understand all that I have gone through to free myself and start a new stage in my life. It is at this moment that I have gotten to know closely the scars that I carry in my soul. Those invisible wounds are always mentioned, but it was difficult for me to understand them. Today, I understand them perfectly. I embrace them with a lot of compassion, and I want to show them to you, because today I know that these wounds are real. And when I say scars, They are not exactly the physical ones. They are the psychological ones, the emotional ones. They are the damages our nervous system suffers when we go through difficult situations that we often keep quiet and tend to ignore. That is why my mission is to help you to navigate those waters, those experiences. If you are going through or have gone through toxic, abusive, and painful circumstances, I would like to help you to recognize, validate, and release those experiences and emotions so we can heal together and gain more confidence. In the description, you will find more information. Miami was a city that opened its doors to me. It was a city that allowed me to enjoy great opportunities. Of course, a lot of partying, a lot of alcohol, a lot of distraction, and superficiality. At least that is how I perceived it. Likewise, my focus was clear, and it led me to work with artists like J Balvin, Maluma, Daddy Yankee, Yalo, Farruko, Yay Alvarez. And really, it really opened its doors to me. But behind the lights, the stages, the applause, and the cameras, all the very dark situations were going on in my life. You see. I have been waiting to speak for a long time, to be able to express myself safely with courage, but I was afraid. Even so, I needed to tell you my ups and downs so that together we could accompany each other along the way. Perhaps you haven't had it easy either. Until recently, I thought, if, I, if only I had the courage to express myself without masks, without filters. And not only through a text, I wanted my voice to be the one you would hear. But I couldn't. I, I couldn't, and I didn't understand why. Why is it so hard for me to express myself? It was a question I asked myself after several attacks of frustration. Has it happened to you? If the answer is yes, I want you to know that there are two of us. I was having a hard time expressing myself because I know that what I'm about to confess to you is my most vulnerable self. It's that girl you don't know. That is why At this very moment, I feel a big scare, and even though I'm feeling it at this instant, 
There is no knot that can obstruct what my voice already want to express. Because it is time to allow us to be yourself in our most transparent, most vulnerable, and most honest version. That is why I want to invite you at this moment to place your hand on your heart. Take a deep breath and feel my intention to open my heart to you. I want to be very honest with you, to tell you about the wounds, challenges and difficulties I have had in the last few years. I also want you to know that in order to have this conversation and open my heart to you door to door, I have had to deal with many fears for give myself and continue to heal in order to forgive. I had to integrate many emotions of frustration, anger, disappointment, and indignation. I also had to take care of my health, which has been very affected as a result of those emotions, those invisible wounds, because It is real. The body sometimes keeps very dark memories and we don't realize it. At one point in my life, I thought that ignore was to forgive. Then I found out it wasn't. That I can't ignore what I went through. And I only wish more people wouldn't go through what I went through. Thank you for being here and opening your heart to mine to know this part of me that you didn't know. Being an immigrant, a woman in the entertainment industry and a survivor of gender-based violence has been quite a challenge. And yes, I'm a survivor of gender violence and In this story, you will know my truth. And my intention with this step I'm taking is embraced by three powerful reasons. One, whether you are an immigrant, a woman, a man, a part of the LGBT community, I want to motivate and inspire you to take the big step towards your best self to embrace your convictions, your struggles, and to turn your wounds into power, to fight to overcome your fear, to achieve your dreams, to claim your rights. And I would like you to take from this story a little bit of gasoline for the engine that can lead you to be a better person. Uh, I long for your liberation and my liberation and that we can have a healthier, more educated, more empathetic society where you feel free to express yourself and be you. To, I want to provide information and expose a reality not very pleasant that we women go through and that we mostly kept silent about. A reality that perhaps is rarely talked about but definitely impacts our mental health. Trauma after gender violence and any type of abuse. Although this is my personal experience, um, it is possible that many will identify with it because it is a reality that as a woman in the entertainment industry and in the artistic medium I want to make known because I see how situations like the ones I went through can affect a human being and I wish with all my heart that no one goes through what I went through from a very genuine and empathetic feeling 
I would love to, my story to don't repeat again. I know many talented kids and teenagers dream of being part of this entertainment industry because it is beautiful, fun, and creative. However, sometimes you only see the cute, the show, and the entertainment, but there is more. There is much more, and I am taking the courage to take this step because I dream of a society and an entertainment industry that is fairer, healthier, more conscious, more full of love, empathy, and respect for women. And third, I want to be 100% transparent and expose various types of violence, attacks, and violations of my rights, which I never had the courage to tell for fear of being judged and pointed out. I have such a dark memories and I felt anxious knowing that my silence can be darkness for someone else. And speaking out can be light for others. And when I say darkness, it is because there are mistakes and bad decisions that we can avoid by learning from the experiences of others. And breaking the silence can save a life. That is why I want to refer to three cases out of many that I have studied and researched. They are cases of violence that, besides affecting me, have made me feel a great urgency to do this because I realize that a nod to violence is not enough. When we don't know how it begins to manifest itself, what could generate it or where it comes from. One of them is the case of the murder of Gabby Petito, the girl who wanted to be a YouTuber and her life ended in a very tragic way at the hands of her partner. Another is the case of Casey Carly, a mother who went through hell and dirty legal battles for the custody of her little daughter, which led her to lose her life in the hands of her ex. Another case I want to touch on is that of Johnny Depp and Amber Heard, which give us masterful information of the topic I want to address. The presence and impact of toxic and extremely dangerous personalities in our society, which is closely linked to the root of gender violence, femicide, and domestic violence. This is the reality for many people, men and women mostly women, and we need to talk about it openly. We need to consider this as a public health problem. That is why, from the bottom of my heart, I don't want any older person go through this situation. That is why I want to talk openly about this, because we need to talk about this as a society. That is why my soul needs to be expressed, to heal, to prevent, to alert and educate about this problem that is happening, which many women and men are unaware of. I will tell you some memories that embarrass me, events that have been very unfair, moments that fill me with courage and I will uncover stories that have been completely manipulated and invented to cover up different types of crimes. And this is definitely not healthy or safe for our society. For that reason, we will go very deep into my case of violence. A criminal case that happened in 2015. And you may wonder why I speak now, six years later. Because today I can verbalize the nightmare I lived from beginning to end. Because today I have the courage, even though this could cost me my life. 
because today I can accept a reality that I swept under the rug. Because today I can understand the collateral damage caused by these and many other events that you will learn about. Because today I have the knowledge and the desire to talk about prevention and help others. Because I wish that no other women and men would go through my situation. Um, because today my heart has been able to heal a little and I feel powerful and full of courage more than ever. Many of the documents and evidence that I will expose in different episodes were used during my legal case. And these are part of public legal records in the state of Florida, Miami-Dade County court system. I will also expose other documents that pertain to other criminal cases attached to each episode, you will find an easy access link so you can access all this evidence and learn about this type of legal dirty battles by yourself. Likewise, my lawyers and the state attorney are aware of this step I'm taking. To my family and loved ones, I want to warn you that there will be some sensitive things that you may not want to see or hear. Disclaimer. And to you, I would like you to stay with me on this journey. Because within the smallest details of my story, you may recognize red flags and alerts in your story. I would deeply appreciate it if you would accompany me by seeing all the episodes that go from darkness to light. These episodes could prevent you from much suffering and even save your life or the life of someone you love. Please, share them, share this information. More people need to know about this. This message is not only for the women to recover her being and her freedom. This message is for the gentleman who abuses, who violates and mistreats. This message is to remind them that they can change, that they can be aware of the catastrophic damage that abuse causes in a woman, in a child, in another human being, before violating is better to abandon. This message is for the woman who is filled with pain and anger and for some reason thinks that violence is what she deserves or that it is the solution. I know that you may be filled with despair, helplessness, and that you may think that there is no other option. Today I can guarantee you that there is another way out. Get out of there. If you have gone through unfair, toxic, abusive, and painful circumstances, I would like to help you recognize, validate, and release those experiences and emotions that have been hidden within you. Let's take steps full of self-love, courage, and vulnerability, because you deserve it. Go to the link in the description, magalife.com slash liberation and get your masterclass and workbook is free with love, Magdiel.